G'day guys, it's Trav here from Trav3R387. So we're back to another Hilux video. It's been a while, but um, the timing belt light has come on on my Hilux. So we did replace the timing belt probably 20,000 Ks ago, but the lights come on now. So I'm gonna have to pull the dash cluster out and um, do the do remove the screw, put the screw back in. So this video here is gonna be how to reset your timing belt light. So pretty much just gonna go through step by step on what to take apart um, and how to put it back together and have the time belt light off. So, righto guys, stick around and hope you uh, enjoy the video. Righto guys, so here we are in the car. <coughs> Basic tools required. Just a couple just a couple screwdrivers, a Phillips head, maybe some pliers, but just basic tools is required for this job. Right, so, turn the reds on. Time belt light's on, and my engine light's on, but disregard that because I've got the mechanical pump conversion, so therefore, uh, there's next to no electronics um, on the engine, so that's why that's come up. But I might pull the bulb while I'm at it. Uh, but anyway, that's the time belt light. Shut the red, shut the motor off. Right, so, business side. If you've got a UHF in here, obviously disconnect your, your wire for your, uh, your handheld. Pull your ashtray out. You'll find a screw down there. Pop that screw out first. Then your shroud will come off. Now we're going to be, I got you on the GoPro, so you'll get a, um, an, like a, a good version of what I'm doing. Then there's a couple more screws up under the dash. So one there, another one over here, we'll get to them later. Um, drop the steering wheel down. A bit more room to play with. Right, so, I'll get these over to the GoPro and we'll start pulling this dash apart and we'll get the cluster out and then we'll show you how to take your time belt light off. Okay, so basically, reach in behind here, it's going to be an arsehole job, <clears throat> and pop the clip. Okay, got some wires and shit. Alright. Disconnect your wires. Right. 
So, right. Okay. So here we go, the dash cross is out. Um, the biggest pain in the ass is this part here, so the speedo drive. Um, on the back of the dash cluster, you've got a wire here, a wire there, and a wire there. Now, there's the three wires there for your dash. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is an SR5 dash cluster, so it's going to be a little bit different to the SRs and that sort of stuff. But um, the other guys, you'll have two screws here and here, so you'll have to change them there. Or on this model here, this is the screw here, so it goes from there to there, vice versa. So every 150,000 Ks, you'll have to pull the screw out and move the screw over just to get rid of that time belt light um, service interval. Now, I've already done my uh, time belt, which is fine. We've done it on the build. Now, speedo drive. That was an asshole to get off. So pretty much when it clips in, you push your little white tab down, pull back. Now, you've got to get your arm in there. It's a pain in the ass and it hurts. So I've got marks on my arm, but anyway, I'm not a sook. Jam your arm in there. Find your, your uh, speedo cable puller. Well, speedo cable, pull it off, and that's it. Now, my engine light's on because I've done a mechanical pump conversion. If you haven't watched the channel before, sorry. If you haven't watched the channel before, I've done a mechanical pump conversion, so my engine light's on. No big deal. There's no electronics left on the motor. The only thing left there is the um, the, uh, the fuel shut off sunlight on the pump. So, what we're going to do to get rid of that. If you're in here and you've got the same sort of problem, this one here, pop that, pull the bulb out, and to be sure, you should be able to put it up to the light, and you should be able to see the engine light. So, no more engine light, no more time belt light. So now I'm going to pop it all back together. Be sure I've got it right before you pop the whole lot back together and uh, we have a fuck up. Right, guys, let's pop back together and see what happens. Right, guys, dash cluster is back in. Um, it's just sitting there for the minute before I put it all back together. Time belt light's on, but it should turn off once the vehicle's been started. Engine light is no longer there, clearly, because I've removed the bulb. Now we'll start the vehicle. All right, time belt light's off and gone. Engine light's clearly gone as well. So there we have it. That's um, how you do your, your time belt light on a KZN Hilux, and predominantly most Hiluxes out there will have the same sort of setup. All right. Well guys, I hope you've liked the video. Um, it's been a while since I've done anything to do with Hiluxes. Um, I've just been very, very busy lately and the plan is to do some more videos soon, hopefully. So um, also, I'm thinking about doing a video on how to, a, um, how to do a boost, uh, boost gauge installation. I've already got a boost gauge in the vehicle. So a few of you guys have been on, you know, in the comment section there asking about how to install one. Um, I've got one already fitted clearly, but um, I can run through what to do. But um, anyway, guys, hope that was enough information for you, and uh, yeah, I hope it helps you out. Anyway, like, subscribe, and uh, love your work, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.